Hi everybody, I'm Matteo Ferrario. We've talked about what is sound um, and now I'd like to introduce the concept of amplitude. The amplitude of sound is a property of sound waves uh, which is connected to its intensity or more precisely to the amplitude of uh, its oscillations. This property is, is later perceived by our ear and our brain as volume. Um, it's important, uh, nonetheless, to not confuse amplitude with volume, as they are, they are two qualities that, uh, although being in some extent linked, refer to two very different things. The first one to a phasic event, and the latter to a sensorial one. As is, as is only right, amplitude is uh, graphically represented as the distance between the crest of a wave, its highest point, and the throat, its lowest point. Therefore, a wide wave could be, for example, this one, and a lesser wide one could be this one. Um, so let's let's remember one more time that a sound it's a longitudinal wave. So w while our representation of it it's transversal, the amplitude of the wave itself should be measured in this way. And the unit of measure used for amplitude is the decibel, ODB. There are, however, three different and fundamental types of dB. The true dB unit of the volume perceived by a uh, human ear, the dBSPL or decibel sound pressure level, unit of sound pressure or rather the um, amplitude of the physical wave, and the dBFS or decibel full scale, unit of amplitude uh, at uh, a digital level. Uh, it's, um, it's a useful indicator we'll often find working with music on uh, our computer. So let's focus on describing the main difference between dBSPL and dBFS. First of all, there are two parameters that refer to um, two fundamentally different things. The dBSPL is a measure of the wave amplitude from a physical point of view and goes from zero, the vibrating mean is perfectly uh, motionless, to infinite because um, uh, we don't set a limit to a sound wave intensity. The dBFS, uh, uh, instead, <coughs> it's a digital measure of the information gathered about a uh, wave and goes from minus infinite, uh, silence, to zero, which represents the maximum we can uh, reach in terms of amplitude of a digital signal before incurring an eclipse or a distortion uh, argument, which we'll discuss in, in a, a later time. So, if we talk about uh, amplitude, we talk about a property of the wave, and we measure it in dBSPL or dBFS, depending on whether it mm, is a physical wave or a, a digital one. 